Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal. We continue play. But if they can find the end zone on this possession, ball game over. And as meticulously as all teams plan for a game, I don't doubt for a second on that offense coordinator's play sheet, he's got some overtime plays that he wants to run. I know it sounds crazy, but they plan for everything. First and 10 all the way throughout the game, second and seven, whatever. Right now, he's looking at that play sheet saying, if we get to overtime, what can we break out that they haven't seen? 142 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw. Harvey. He's got his big tight end, Fant. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're in OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll roll him out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And incomplete on the deep ball. That one brought back a few nightmares because when a quarterback gets outside of the pocket, your job as a defensive back, make sure you stay as deep as the deepest receiver and not let anyone leak behind you for a big play. A nice job there having discipline and not letting them connect on that pass. Straight ahead, Walker. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off the bootleg, Harvey rolling to his right. This is Fant on the short completion. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs' 13-yard line. Now to the ground, here's Walker. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They've had some success here in overtime on this opening drive running the football right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well you just spoke. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Merrick. And the Buccaneers are going to have it with a chance to win the game here in overtime. Boy, that one hurt, CD. They were in field goal range. They wanted that touchdown, understandably. But now, a field goal on the other side would beat them. And when you get the ball first in overtime, you're thinking to yourself, nothing less than a field goal. But you really want the touchdown. You don't want to put the onus on your defense to try and hold. In this case, they put it on them anyway. But at least they were aggressive trying to get the score that would have ended the game. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. Now it's Mills' turn here in overtime. Finds White. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And this is going to be a Bucks first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. Mills on first down. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. 
So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Shotgun. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. Now a timeout called for by the offense. It'll be their second and final timeout, remember, here in overtime. We'll be back. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Off the play fake, Mills. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to make it fourth down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And it'll be a hot time in Ebor tonight. The Bucks have won the football game. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles.